Welcome to another quick review from Ultimate DIY. Today we're going to take a look at this circular saw made by Makita. This is going to be model number 5007MG. The MG stands for magnesium. Now I hear a lot of guys say, oh, magnesium, that's to make everything slide better. They put it into the plate that you're gonna run it across your material. Well, that may be true to a point, but the big thing with the magnesium is they've actually spread the magnesium out into the components throughout the saw, which helps distribute weight and make it a little less fatigable. And it makes it really durable and strong. And it, it just balances the whole unit. That's what your magnesium is for. So this is a very heavy duty great saw. When you first get this saw, it's going to come in a case and I do have the case, I just didn't bring it in. It sets inside of the case so you can carry it around. Super nice case. But inside the case, it also has a little attachment that slides out the top. But here you have a sliding area and what it does is it will guide along your material and help you cut a very straight line, which is a big plus. On top of the little guy that goes on the side, it also has a laser. The laser will help you keep a very straight line when you're cutting sheet goods and everything and make sure that you do not wander off of that line. And then it still has your steel sights at the top, which most saws have that you can follow. When it comes to the actual saw itself, it feels really good in the hands. It's got a rubber grip here. It's easy to clean. I love the handle up at the top where I can grab it and guide it. And you can adjust the plate. So anytime you're cutting sheet goods or any material for that matter, you want to set the depth of your blade. You don't want the blade too far down for a couple of reasons. One is it is going to chip your material. It's also going to make that blade over hot and probably start warping. And it's a little bit of a safety hazard. You don't want too much blade sticking down when you're trying to cut. So you want to adjust that. How it's done is you're going to use this other handle in the back. And by the way, all of the handles on this Makita are going to be the same green color. So they're easy to spot. So you're going to reach back here, flip this handle, just like that. And now my plate will slide up and down. Now they have a gauge inside of here and there's a bar that goes up and down. And I don't know if you can actually see that, but it goes up and down and it will go all the way from a half inch to two and a half inches. So I can set the depth of my blade from half an inch to the two and a half inches. Now, Say this is some plywood and I'm trying to cut it. I'm going to take the saw, set it on there, have that loose saw ready, raise it, and I'm gonna move my little guard up with the other little green handle here. And I get my blade to where it is just past it right there. And I don't know if you can see that, but hopefully you can. And then I lock my plate back down. So now it's going to be set at the right depth to be able to cut through the table and no more. I have used saws that the trays are really hard to move and you fight them. This one is pretty simple. So there's another function on here though. It's called cutting a bevel. So a lot of times if you're doing trim work, roofing work, you name it, you're gonna probably end up coming across a situation where you're gonna to need to bevel the side of the wood. You can do that on a table saw. And a lot of times, especially if there's a lot of it, that's what I do. But if I'm working out inside and it's hot, I don't want to run and get a portable table saw, bring it over, set it all up to cut one piece of wood. If I can do it real quickly with my circular saw. And how that works is you're going to have a lever in the front here. Let's see where we are right here. You're going to have this lever and you're going to raise it up. And now this tray moves and I can lock in at my 45. Get it right where I want. Let's just, let's just go ahead and lock it right there. So say that's my 45. So when I cut, now I'm going to cut the edge off, bevel my two before or my piece of wood, whatever it is I'm cutting. So that actually helps you and saves you a bunch of time. But this saw has one more feature. If you look here, it has a whole nother knob. And I'm on 45 now, but I can actually move this 
all the way up here or all the way down. This one, I can move it up higher and now it's going to allow the tray to slide only to a certain spot and lock. It, it actually gives me that 56 degree so that I can get a deeper cut. A lot of saws do not have that function. So overall though, I think this is a great saw, very heavy duty made. I think it'll last you for years and years. So if you're wanting a really good saw, whether you're a DIYer, whether you're a carpenter, whether you're a cabinet maker, uh, you do trim, no matter what it is you do, you need a good circular saw. This one will last you for a long time. Do yourself a favor, pick yourself up one today, and we will see you guys on the next review.